Good morning, and welcome to the Covestro Arena here at K2022. And let me ask you, do you know what this is? Do you want to find out? If you want to find out what this is, do you drive an EV? Do you drive an electric vehicle? Anyone? Have a seat in our living room and find out, because now we have a very interesting project. We're all about collaborations, crafting connections. So we want to talk about a project between Leonard Kurz Stiftung and Covestro. And they use the, the latest design technologies and sustainable material solutions to come up with an EV charger demonstrator. So it's a wall box demonstrator that should inspire the EV charging manufacturers to really build more interesting, fascinating, and of course, more sustainable chargers. We also had this on the wall up here, but you will get all the details from the two guys involved with the project. So please give them a warm round of applause as welcome Sven Oberndörfer from Leonard Kurz Stiftung and Jari Birds from Covestro. Thank you. Hello, guys. Good Hi. to have you guys. Who wants this? Do you want to start with us? OK, so I'll give you the stage. All right, enjoy. OK, so I think Yari will start with a presentation of Covestro, what they have done for this nice part. And uh, later on, I will show you what the company Kurz has done to make this part look so nice. Perfect. So, yeah, thank you very much. Welcome to the presentation today. Um, yeah, in today's presentation, we would like to share with you some of the backgrounds of the EV wallbox demonstrator, which we developed together with the company Kurz. Actually, with that demonstrator, we would like to inspire the wallbox industry. We want to show the market several different material solutions, new design aspects, and innovative manufacturing technologies combined in such a demonstrator. And by the way, the demonstrator you can see here uh, also on the screen and ca can find it here on the edge also as a demonstrator. So I just can encourage you guys, have a look on it, go on discussion here with our experts. Yeah, as we already know, and it's not a secret, that the mobility market undergoes a significant change. The trend towards the electrification of the car also affects the material selection. And we as a raw material supplier also facing new application fields. From an experience perspective, these new application fields, such as battery packaging, electric powertrain, and also wall boxes, um, matching pretty good between our common understanding of the E&E &E industry and the knowledge and know-how we gained the past decades in the classic automotive business. With our broad portfolio of polycarbonates and polycarbonate fill, um, polycarbonate resins, such as Macrolon, Macroplant, and Biplant, and also film solutions, such as Macrofol and Bifol, we are able to provide our customers tailor-made solution, especially in relation to the um, high requirements of the EV industry. Um, here you can find just some of the advantages of our materials, for example, weathering resistance, especially under harsh weather conditions, um, the outstanding impact resistant of polycarbonate and polycarbonate based materials, the possibility of using different kind of aesthetic design aspects by coloring, using different surfaces in combination with the processes from the company course, such as IMD, film insert molding and hot stamping, and last but not least, the safety aspect. Um, beside the major requirements, we are also looking into upcoming challenges. Uh, smarter connectivity is getting a big deal when it comes to the application field of electronic devices and also wall boxes. And for sure, the feasibility, for example, for 4G or 5G and also smarter connectivity um, relates to the material selection. Another interesting topic is also beside the, the wall boxes is the general material shift from metal to plastic. Um, we're currently working and already providing different kind of solution approaches in the area of electronics, powertrain and also lighting, where we show our customers the feasibility of changing from metal to one of our material solutions. And there we are not only talking about housings and covers, we are also looking into functional parts, such as, for example, heat sinks for VCUs, uh, vehicle control units, and uh, in combination with our Macrolone TC, which is actually a thermoconductive grade. And by the way, you can also find here on, on the left side a demonstrator of an VCU solved by the Macrolone TC. 
Additionally, we are also looking into further CMF in design trends, so new colors, new designs to show our customers different solution approaches in combination with our materials. And also here, very nice discoveries can be made on our booth. There we're actually showing how it could look like when you transfer a CMF sample into a digital sampling process on base of a given CAD data. In my next slide, you can uh, see a general assembly overview of a wall box. Um, here we distinguish a bit between the wall mount bracket, the housing, including the front cover, because normally there we are looking on, into opaque and colored materials. For example, Macrolone 6487, which is a flame retardant, urea resistant, opaque grade. Or the Macrolone FR 6040, which has uh, additional chemical resistance. Um, on the other side, we are also looking into the design cover, and that is exactly what we wanted to show with our demonstrator here. Because when we are looking into the design cover, optical aspects becoming more and more important. So here we need translucent or even transparent materials uh, to play with the application and different design aspects such as backlighting, diffusive effects, glass-like look effect, and further surface finishes such as IMD, film insert molding, and hot stamping processes. Um, yeah, and that's why we used actually the Macrolone 6557RE for our wallbox demonstrator in combination with a polycarbonate film, the Macrofold DE. You probably wondered what the RE, the suffix RE mean. Um, and that is what I wanted to show you on our next slide. So we as Covestro have, have the overall vision to become fully circular. To achieve that, we identify a couple of different solution approaches um, as further steps to get closer to our overall goal of getting fully circular. One of these steps is the topic of mechanical recycling. So we uh, here at Covesto already provide a bunch of different materials such as macaron and biplans with post-consumer and post-industrial content. Another step is the design for sustainability where we've written together, especially for the E&E &E industry with a partner and circular design guide to show developers and designers how to integrate the end-of-life disposal and also the idea of circular economy into future-looking designs. Sorry, I just back, yeah. Um, and last but not least, the launching of the renewable attributed polycarbonate, the RE series. The RE series, or the R Macrolon RE, is an ISCC Plus certified mass balanced polycarbonate in which we replaced actually the fossil res resources by biocircular resources. Yeah, what does it mean, Macrolon RE? So, like I said, the Macrolon RE and standard Macrolon RE has a biocircular attribute share of about 70%. And by the help of that and different other aspects, we are able to reduce the carbon footprint by 2.7 kilograms of CO2 emission per kilogram of polycarbonate. For sure, we are not only providing macro area, we are also providing biplant area and macro plant areas, but for sure the values will change slightly here because of the different mass content. But nevertheless, all these solutions and all these product families are drop-in solutions. So the product performance is identical to the conventional product families. Yeah, on my last slide, I would like to share with you some of the details of the Covestro Films products, which we also use in our demonstrator. The Macrofold products offers various different possibilities of integration of design and different, um, different function integrations via the film insert molding process. So they can be used, for example, as a carrier for a printing layer, printed, uh, printing layer sorry, printed by screen printing or digital printing processes, or even can include additional protection layers to enhance the chemical scratch resistance. Furthermore, we're also providing different kind of light management films when it comes to optical requirements, such as diffusion effects, light guiding, black panel effects, and also reflection. If you're further interested into the topic, don't hesitate to contact us. We have a lot of experts here also located on the booth regarding our film solutions, a lot of experience, and, and as well a strong partnership. And for sure, we are also focusing on the topic of circular economy with attributed mass balance products, partly bio-based products, and also the use of required. And now I would like to hand over to Sven, to our partner, for the further details about the designs and the manufacturing aspects. Thank you, Yari. So first of all, I would like to say thank you to be part of this presentation um, here on the Covestro booth. Yeah. What is company Kurtz doing? Um, yeah, we are making every product unique. And um, this we have also done um, on this wallbox dem demonstrator. 
but um, I would like to start with a short presentation of the company Kurz. Um, here you see, uh, first of all, um, the unique versions, uh, what you can done, do with our products on this demonstrator. Um, yeah, um, we can put in all our know-how uh, for uh, top codes, uh, for um, specification requirements. Um, and um, what we also show here on this part is that um, we can really adjust um, the decoration method to the business case, to the volumes of the part. Um, yeah, the company Kurtz, um, uh, we call it the Kurtz Group. Um, we have several daughter companies um, uh, to make it possible to make every product unique. Um, we have, for example, um, the company uh, Bayer and H&M here. Um, they are the expert for hot stamping technology. And also, we put this hot stamping technology into this product. And as well, we have experts for touch sensor in the Kurtz Group and experts for tooling and molding. Um, yeah. We are where you are. Um, company Kurtz is a family-owned company in the fifth generation. And um, I think uh, we have uh, air locations in every area um, on the world where we can support you. Um, yeah, we call ourselves as global lead in the film technologies. Um, we have around 5,500 employees. And as I said, um, we have uh, locations and uh, production um, locations all around the world. Um, yeah, here you see um, where we are. So we have our headquarters here in Germany, in Fürth, in Bavaria. Um, and then we have um, production locations in all important regions um, in the world. Um, how we see our work um, in the Kurz Group? Um, first, we see us as a consulting a company who guides you to find the right uh, design process, design solution for your product. And then, of course, we can support you during the design process. With this one, we can customize the product. And of course, we can produce our products. Um, and of course, we have the global network to provide our products everywhere in the world. Um, and the next step, I would like to show you our processes, which we have integrated now into this uh, wall box demonstrator. And I would like to start with the hot stamping process. Uh, this process is very uh, common, I would say. Um, it's a very simple process, very easy to integrate. Um, and also, we have applied uh, this process um, here on the wall box uh, demonstrator, the outer ring we have done in a chrome hot stamping foil. Uh, and here we have several advantages. As I said, it's a very easy process to be installed. It's a chrome uh, 6 free process. And um, what we know that our foils, which we apply, does not influence um, uh, the recyclability of the product. And here's a very famous example for this process. I think everybody knows. Um, um, and this process makes it possible to have a partial metallization onto a plastic part. Next process which we have integrated in this, into this part is our IMD process. And this is a, a very cost efficient process because it's a one, sh one shot, one step process. So we do the decoration and the, the production of the part in the same process. Um, that's why we say it's very economical. Um, and uh, this one can be also very easily installed on any kind of injection molding machine. Here are some examples. So uh, you see um, this decoration now on this cover is done by IMD. Um, so uh, the printing is applied onto the foil. And then the lacquer are transferred onto the plastic part touring injection molding process. What we also have done here, um, it's, a, it's a new development um, from company Kurz. Um, it's called Laser Line. Um, so this makes it possible to decorate a part and then do the customization afterwards by laser etching. Um, so uh, this makes this helps us uh, or help will help you to have a lot size number one. So you can uh, you know, are very flexible in the design. And also here I would like to show you an example on the market. So it's a very common technology used in mass production for automotive industry. So here you see a new BMW model, and in the middle in the center console there's this lighted part, and this is also decorated by IMD technology. Next process we also have put into this part is the insert molding process. Uh, I know there are several names on the market for this process, IML, FEM. But in the end, um, it's a, a printed uh, sheet foil, um, which is put into the injection mold um, during the production process. And here also, I would like to show you an example on the market. Here you see the 
uh, Volkswagen model where you see this big decorative part on the right side, on the passenger side, uh, which is decorated by insert molding process. And as I said already in the beginning, um, on this Warbox part, we can really show you um, that we can adapt our decoration technologies to your business case. So if you have high volumes and low design vary, or you have uh, low volumes and many different designs, we have the right process. And also here is an example. Um, you can also see it on the price, uh, because uh, when we see we have the cost per part, um, then uh, the volumes are important. So if you have higher volumes, the costs are per part are more important. Um, and this one we want to point out here that, for example, um, when you have a, a, a version of this wall box, for example, with, with a base version where every, every time the design is the same one, um, we can really show cost advantages, for example, by our IMD process. Because as you can see, the white line is the IMD process. As higher the volume gets, um, the cost per parts will get lower. And of course, if you have uh, or say more simple versions than, for example, our hot stamping process, right from the beginning, it's very, uh, very low cost per part. Um, and of course, um, there's something in between. So if you have to want more exclusive versions, like the PMD design, this is what we have done also on this part um, with our daughter company, Burg Design. Um, then, of course, the costs are a little bit higher, but the design effects are also more exciting. Um, so here, um, we have also the, the, the right solution. And also, what we have also done on this project, um, I think that's why it's important to go to later on to the demonstrator. We have integrated our touch sensor into this part. Um, with this touch sensor, you can control the wall box. For example, here we show that you can charge from the car to your house or from the house to the car. Um, and this touch sensor is also produced by company Kurz and also integrated by company Kurz. Our touch sensors have several uh, advantages, but I think in this case, the most important one is really the the, the the conductivity, that is very sensitive, and um, the optical transparency. So the touch sensor does not influence um, when you, for example, uh, have backlighting effects, what you can see on the demonstrator, this is not influenced by the, by the touch sensor. And the touch sensor can be applied in different ways. Also here, depending on your business case, um, it can be integrated very simple by, by mechanical fixing. Then you can integrate a touch sensor by a pressure sensitive tape, or you can integrate it by OCA or you can integrate it by IML during the injection molding process, which is, of course, very cost efficient, also no additional process. Or you can use our own uh, integration process called FFP process, functional foil bonding. Um, yes. So here um, you see, uh, for example, um, how the integration during the injection molding process uh, happens um, of the touch sensor. Um, you see that the, the sensor is picked by the robot and placed into the injection molding machine. And here um, you see the functional foil process. Um, I think it's the best way to explain it by a short video. Um, you see for, uh, the door trim part, which should be um, uh, now integrated with a, with a touch solution or a touch function. Here you see the touch sensor. And this uh, has a big advantage because you, uh, you keep the, the integration process separated from the, from the decoration process to be very efficient, uh, for example, for scrap rates. And here it's very simple. So there's a hot silicon die which only uh, press onto the sensor. And then afterwards, the sensor is integrated and pass all automotive specifications. Then um, I would like to show you shortly um, uh, uh, some words about our production process um, because uh, um, we have really here um, really benefits. Um, for example, we use no wastewater during our production. Um, as I said already, no Chrome 6 is used in our chromium films. Um, and um, during in our production, we do not use um, we use our uh, the exhaust of the printing process. Um, to heat uh, our production. And um, we have found out um, in the last days that um, our decoration processes are really be best practice um, to get the lowest possible CO2 footprint. Um, and this I also want to point out um, on this IMD part. It's 100% recyclable. 
We made analysis that our uh, foils or our lacquers which we apply does not influence the recyclability of the part um, because it's less than 1% of the total weight of the part. Um, do, with our top coats, we can create really durable surfaces, with, which pass, I would say, also many automotive specifications, like uh, abrasion, UV, UV resistance. Um, and um, what you also have, uh, we made an analysis, um, you can use all um, kind of materials for the IMD process, for example. If you want to use recycled materials, bio-based mas substrates, um, uh, this can be used um, with the IMD process and this does not influence the appearance or the quality of the part in any case. No. And this, uh, these are the benefits from the company courts and all the technologies. And uh, I would, as I said, we packed all these technologies right now into this part to show you um, what you can do um, for such wallbox demonstrator. Of course, I would like to invite you to our booth in Hall 5, um, where you see a live production of an IMD part and uh, many other examples for our nice technolo technologies. All right, thank you so much, Jörg. Jarek, come on, join us on stage. And now we do have some time for questions. Left, do we have any questions to these two guys, either for Leonard Kurz Stiftung or Covestro on this joint project? They've done, yes, we do have a question. Thank you very much for this very interesting uh, presentation. The question that I have, am I understood it right? That the technologies which you presented have been proven in, for instance, the automotive industry and are ready for mass production now and can be one-to-one -one transferred into this new application. Yes. I, yes, this can be transferred because we, we know that this, this part is very similar to automotive um, products. That's why we say this can be transferred. Also, we have many experience with our product in, in, the, in the exterior field of automotive and also a wall box there is most of the time exterior. So we know that our products uh, pass requirements to be used in the, in the outside. Yeah. All right. Any other questions from the audience? Does anyone want to know anything about the wall box demonstrator? I'm looking at uh, the clock. We have a few minutes left. I just wanted to know, you guys, I mean, was this just a one-time project, or is this something ongoing? Are you, you know, keep developing new solutions? Yeah, I mean, in general, um, not only the project uh, together with the company, Quartz is ongoing. This kind of wall box topic is, uh, like I ex already explained, is an upcoming topic. It's getting more and more. I mean, the market is really, really big. There are a lot, lot of new chances and um, yeah, a lot of things to do yeah, at the moment. So uh, just imagine when everyone at home has a wall box now in the future because of the electrification of the mobility market. Um, yeah, there is a lot of opportunities, especially in combination yeah. with, co with material suppliers and um, also companies which providing manufacturing technology, mm -hmm. such as IMD, film and sub molding, and the hot sampling process. So. so have you been in talks with actual you know, manufacturers of EV wall boxes so far? Yes, we've done uh, yesterday. We oh, had okay. an exciting <laughs> meeting with a manufacturer of e-box. And, and this was really nice to see, because on this part, we really point out uh, what they need. Mm -hmm. um, and the, 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 they give us the confirmation and say, OK, we need exactly such solutions, such um, how can I say, flexibility of the design process to adapt uh, the product to the volumes, to the customer designs. Um, oh, this was really a nice experience yesterday. All right, very good. OK, last question. Any further questions? Last chance for you to, take, to uh, ask a question. No, we have a, maybe you guys want to you know, be here if anyone wants to you know, ask you a personal question just after you're on stage. So thank you very much for coming here, taking the time to present the project. All the best for future collaborations. It's all about you know, joining forces and crafting connections. Thank you, Yari. Thank you, Jörg. This is your applause. <laughs> all right. And just to let you know, at 1 PM, we'll have an exciting panel talk here with Freitag. They talk about their circular tarp and how they changed their business model to become fully circular. Really should be exciting, so don't miss that. If you want to be here at 1 PM, you should be here as well, Noah. OK, see you then. <laughs>